Hello everybody, my name is Brandon Ivey and I wanted to uh, shoot a video of a new topic that I had. I had a conversation with one of our business partners tonight named Mr. Darren Washington. And we were talking about, you know, following up on a training I did the other night talking about becoming a professional networker and the skills that's needed to have success. And one thing that I learned in this industry from almost 18 years is that it doesn't matter what business you're in, what the compensation plan is, and ultimately what the product is at the end of the day that's going to determine your success. What matters is if you've learned certain skill sets, certain skills that once you have mastered, you will be successful in anything that you do. And a couple of those skill sets is the fact of knowing and recognizing that you're in network marketing and you need to train, change that term from network marketing to relationship marketing because that's what it is. Even though it's a numbers game, those numbers have faces behind it, it has people behind it and that is what this business is all about. Being able to solve somebody's problem, being able to show somebody that what it is that you're offering can be a solution to whatever problem they have going on in their life right now. That's what this industry is all about. It's about people. So one skill that you've got to learn how to master is relationships. Being able to connect with another human being. Now before you can even get to that step, you've got to be able to find people to talk to in the first place. And one problem that most people have is after they've talked to their warm market, after they've talked to friends and family, they don't have anybody else to talk to. They've hit that wall and they after two, three months, they say, you know what, this no longer works for me. They give up and quit because they don't know how to attract new people to their business. And it's a skill to be able to attract. I didn't say chase down. I didn't say drag people over. I said attract people to your business. I've been the top producer of everything that I've done. But I'm not a recruiter. I don't recruit. I know how to market my business. And by marketing my business, people like to buy, they don't like to be sold. So a skill set that you need to learn, how to market your business. How to put your business in front of the most amount of eyeballs as possible. That will determine how many people you have seen in your business. It still is a numbers game. I don't care how great you are, how great your business is, the majority of people are going to say no. But what you're looking for is those that actually say yes. So learn the skill, master the skill, use whatever tool, and there's thousands of them out there. Some much better than others. You can contact me if you want to learn what it is that I use. But find a tool that's going to teach you how to market your business and practice at it on a consistent basis. Once you have eyeballs looking at your business and contacting you, the next skill is relationships. And I'm going to tell you right now without having to do any training, one thing that you can master that will set you apart from everybody else. The ability to share your story. What's your story? What's your pain? Because normal when people have conversations with others, they're always talking about how great they are, how great their job is, how great their business is, how great their family is, how great their health is. Nobody's talking about how bad things are because we're always keeping up with the Joneses. You know? <laughs> we, don't, we don't want people to see us sweat. So you actually sharing your pain about what's really going on in your life is new and refreshing because other people can relate to that. Other people say, wow, I'm going through eight things myself. If this man or this woman over here is going through things, I can relate to that. They're not trying to put a front on for me. But what you say is that people tell me this all the time, Brandon, when I become successful, I will share my story. No! <laughs> You have it wrong. They say, how can I share my story when I haven't had success yet? Again, you're missing the point. See, when you're sharing your story, you don't have to talk about the fact that you went through poverty and pain and trials and tribulations and now you're su super successful. No, 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 no. What you say is, listen, I'm going through the same problems and pain as everybody else, but I am so glad that I made the decision to do something different. And now I know the future is going to be in a better place because of the decisions I've made today and I'm on that path right now. 
So you don't have to have already achieved success. But the fact that you've made a decision where they haven't, where you found a vehicle where they haven't, where you have hope now, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, where for them it's still darkness. You might not have had the success yet, but you're on your road there is enough. And your story will continue to get stronger and stronger after that. That is the beginning of how to develop relationships with others. And all the reading and stuff after that, you'll learn what to do, your skill. But this isn't something that can be taught, it's something that has to be practiced. I got to where I am now because I have spoken to thousands and thousands of people. If you've spoken to two, you're not there yet. So again, the purpose of this video was learn skills. Once you learn these basic skills, you will have success in anything that you do. Thank you for watching. My name is Brandon Ivey. Bye-bye.